Okay, so guess who finished your last chemo? <laughs> so I'm here at Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center and I get to ring the bell today. And since I am the lucky blessed girl that I am, you know I'm not by myself. Y'all already knew that, right? So let me see if I can get a picture of everybody who's here. Is there a way to turn the screen around while yeah. I'm in the middle of video? Yeah, see the little camera? No, I don't see it. Oh, you can't do it in the video. You can only go one way. Okay, I can't do it in the video, but I can do it like this, though. Yeah. So there is Taylor J, my little niece. There is my brother, TJ. There is my sister, Tamika. My nephew, Sydney. My daddy. My twins. <laughs> Portia. Come on, Portia. Portia, my other twin. My mommy. And guess who else is here? Bam. Bam. Riley. So we're going to do this thing. I'm going to ring this bell. Where is the bell? Oh. I'm so excited. Is that way to turn around? I'm super excited. I still have 10 more Herceptin treatments, but that's not chemo. This is my last chemo. I can't believe it. This journey has been so fast. And this phase has been, I have been unfazed through this phase. Look at God, right? Have the best nurses and the best facilities. They take such good care of me here. And I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to be able to ring this bell. I just, I'm so grateful to God for giving me the strength to make it this far. And to take me on to the next chapter or the next phase of this chapter in this season of my life, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I just have all faith and belief in God that it's gonna be fine. But I'm really excited that this part is over so I can get my taste buds back. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Love you guys thank you thank you to everybody thank you to uh my friend my girlfriend erica let me not leave erica out erica was here for five or six of my treatments she has the flu today so she couldn't come but let me not leave her out and um Sadija, who got me this little ipad so i can document these things and miss nadia who came back and I just love her so much, you know. And my friend Sean of 19 years, who was at my doctor's appointments with me, I just appreciate her so much too. Um, Alicia and Cheryl Shropshire, who raised so much money for me to pay my house note when I'm off work. I mean, I, who, who does that? Um, Deetra, who supports everything that I do. Of course, um, Jackie, who I just love, 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 made this wig, made my blonde wig. You know, she keeps me so fly during the whole process. Um, you know, everybody shows love in their own ways. And so Jackie prays for me. But not only does she pray, she keeps me looking good. So, <laughs> so I'm so thankful for her and for the way that she loves me. And um, so many people, so many people have prayed with me, have have shown up and shown out. Nishan Stovall, I love you, Nishan. Nicole Johnson, I love you, girl. I love you so much. Um, so many people. Let me think. I, I really want to like Lori. Lori Matwire has done so much. You know, just sent me little comforting gifts you know here and there oh miss daphne alex miss daphne alex every time miss daphne looks at me she gives me this this the most compassionate hug and and just love me her way and leaves a salon with a little something in my little box every time and you know i'll never forget your kindness i'll never forget it miss daphne miss star I love you, Miss Star. I love you, Miss Star. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for everything that you've given me too. And all the prayers. I know I have so many people praying for me. My girls, my girl, um, my group of girlfriends here, um, Deetra, Sean, Jackie, 
Brittany, Ayoye, Diamond, Diamond who texted me this morning, remembered it was my last chemo. You know, it's just little things like that that just make you feel good because you know that you're on someone, that people are thinking about you. My uncles, my uncles, my uncle Teddy, who, I mean, I opened the mailbox not even expecting anything and there's something in the mail from my uncle Teddy like every month. Thank you so much. Uncle Terrence, who not only sends me, but but texts me and checks on me and sets me up with people. Uh, with Miss Lisa, thank you, Miss Lisa. Thank you, Uncle Terrence, for introducing me to her because she's been a sounding board for me throughout this whole process, and I've been able to ask her, and she's kind of become like a mentor to me. I can't wait to meet you, Miss Lisa. Um... You know, just everybody, everybody. I have the best family. My Auntie Mookie, mm -hmm. my Auntie Val. You know, y'all just mean so much to me. All my uncles and my aunts, my Aunt Sadie, all y'all, Uncle Bert, everybody, Uncle June, Uncle Larry, Uncle Tim. Everybody just means so much to me. And, you know, it's the examples of love that you guys, that you guys show one another. That is the examples of love that my brother and sister and I have and why we are the way that we are and why we love each other, how we love each other. So I just thank you guys for that. Hi, I thank each and every one of you for loving each Mommy. other the way that you love each other. Mommy. And to my cousins Mom, who have prayed for me. Granny is not your, um, not your mommy's uncle. Is, granny is uncle's mommy. Granny is, granny is uncle's mommy and my mommy. Oh. Yeah, and Auntie Mika's mommy. <laughs> She's so funny. Right. Um, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. I don't even know. Like, I, I could never name everyone individually. Tirza. Oh, I love you, Tirza. I love you, girl. Mm, mm, mm. And Riley for making his mom. Tirza is one of those people that when she told me, she said, Tanya, I'm, I'm going to be praying for you. And I told her, I said, I believe you. I believe you. Because oftentimes people say things like that. And I'm sure they say it with good intentions. And they, they, they mean it at the time. But you know, as time goes on in life, it's the best of you. Sometimes it's hard to continue. But Tirza, when Tirza told me that, I told her, I believe you, Tirza. And I do. You know, my aunt, my um, uh, my cousin Dini. My my mommy that white thing and that and that yellow thing look like an egg. Yeah, my cousin Dini, who I believe is praying for me, and and looking out for me and thinking of me. Um, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Um, Miss Vicky Ingolio, my client, Miss Vicky, of so many years who has already started stocking my fridge with food for when I'm out for my surgery. Like those are the kind of things you just can't put a price on. And those are the kind of things and the kind of um, the acts of kindness that I just have so much just respect and just gratitude for. I don't even know how to explain how blessed I am. It's not something that I can't explain. It's just something I can be so thankful for. And I'm so glad that God has chosen each and every one of you. Those that I've named and those that I didn't. Those that I didn't don't think I. it goes unnoticed because it doesn't. I just um, can't think of everybody right now. And what a problem to have, huh? When you have so many people, so many people that have been so good to you that you just can't think of all their names right now. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. My best friend, uh, Janine, who I just love so much, too, you know, I just love like a sister, and Janine um, is in California, you know, but we talk, and sometimes she's nurse Janine, and sometimes she's best friend Janine, <laughs> but I just love her so much, and I look forward to her coming and, and helping take care of me um, after my surgery, so I'm so lucky in that sense, too, that I've already got people lined up to come and stay with me after my surgery you know my little sister um Porsche I thank her so much you know because she's they've made big sacrifices in their family 
when my brother comes and stays with me, you know, because he has a wife and a child at home. So I thank my sister so much for being understanding and for loving me and helping me hustle those t-shirts, helping TJ hustle those t-shirts. Um, and for everybody who bought t-shirts, I'm just so happy and so, so, um, just so thankful, so thankful. We actually, my clients, Alicia and, and uh, Cheryl, raffled off a basket, too. So they, got, they got donations from all around town. So there was a um, fire stick in the basket. There was a $150 flat iron in that basket. There was a gift card for a massage, gift card for a facial, pedicure, wine, Victoria's Secrets gift card, sunglasses from the loft. The basket was worth over $500. And they auctioned that basket off and they brought me $1,100 from the proceeds of that auction. So like I said, that's gonna pay my house note when I'm off work. Like that just does not happen every day. That doesn't happen every day. And I mean, God has just put people in my life. I, I always said, when my pastor told me, you don't ask God for any, you don't ask man for anything. You ask God and let God work through man to make those things happen. And so that's what I've done. I haven't opened my mouth to ask a man or a person, a human, for anything. I just pray to God for the things I know I'm going to need. And before I know it, it's in my hands. It's in my hands, y'all. Like, this is a testimony. All you got to do is pray. Say it again, Taylor. All you got to do is pray. That's right, baby. So sweet. So this is a testimony. This is just a part of my testimony. And when it's all said and done and I have my surgery... And I have my um, surgery is next, and then radiation, and then 10 additional Herceptin treatments. And when it's all said and done, I'm having the biggest party and, um, and baptism, okay? Because this is a spiritual journey for me. This is a spiritual journey for me. And I'm just so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so happy today, you guys. I'm so happy. But I love you guys. I love y'all all. And like I said, if I, if I forgot anybody um my friend Marsha one of my best friends too Marsha she's been there every step of the way too just always always she's never too busy to listen to me talk whether I'm happy I'm sad depressed whatever the case is she's never too busy and it never bothers her usually I'm happy though but I thank her for that I thank her for that I thank you for every client that sits in my chair I thank God for every client that sits in my chair. I thank God for my business partner, Jackie, for my employees. For a house. For my home, right. I thank God for you guys so much, for your understanding, your support. I just, I thank God for you guys from the bottom of my heart. And like I said, you know, my family, of course, it's just unwavering support and love. I'm a lucky girl. I'm a very lucky girl, very blessed girl. And I thank, um, last but not least, I thank my friend of 20 something years now, um, Paul DuPlessis. I love you, Paul DuPlessis. You're so sweet. So sweet. So sweet. I just love you and care for you so much. So thank you. All right, you guys. I can talk all day, thanking folks all day. So thank you to everybody. And for everybody who I didn't thank by name, just know that I, I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your prayers. For every prayer that goes up on my behalf, in Jesus' name, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. More than anything else, I appreciate those prayers. Let God know what you want him to do in my life, in my body. I appreciate it. Y'all let God know that I'm somebody, I'm worth saving. And I appreciate that. My work is not done. It's not done. It's just beginning. It's just beginning. It's great things to come. So I thank God in advance for all the great things he has planned for my long life. Okay. Love y'all. Bye. Okay. I had like a two minute uh, break and then I thought to myself, I forgot two other very, very important people. Uh, Miss Gabrielle Frazier. Gabrielle Frazier was my first client on the day of my diagnosis. So I was on my way to work, got the phone call and got to work and there was Gabrielle. <laughs> 
and she's so sweet. She took me straight to the hospital. She didn't care about getting her hair done. She is um, an occupational therapist, so she participated in my breast cancer awareness event. She texts me all the time, checking on me. Like, her love and support is just, you know, unwavering, and I just appreciate you so much, Gabrielle. So much. Like, I don't want you to ever, ever, ever doubt that I appreciate you the way that I do. Like, you will always have a special part in my heart, a special piece of my heart, okay? Love you. I love you for that. Um... And my um, my girlfriend, America, who is so crazy, again, the way God works, and she and I hadn't talked in so many years. And then um, we began speaking again. Her mother, unfortunately, passed from cancer. And then I was diagnosed not long after, so it just touched her in a special kind of way. But this was like my roommate in college. She was like a sister to me for so many years. And um, anytime I have something, she's here. From my mom's birthday party, she came all the way from Houston. She is here to my cancer awareness event. She came all the way from Houston. She was there. And I just appreciate you so much, America. I don't want you to ever think that I don't, because I do. And I'm so grateful to God for um, renewing our friendship and bringing us back together. I love you, girl. Okay. And everybody else, too, who I did, who I forgot. I'm sorry if I did. I love you guys all, though. Like, have y'all ever heard of chemo brain? Chemo brain is when you're, um, you like, lose your short-term memory so if i forgot anybody blame it on chemo brain chalk it up to chemo brain not my heart <laughs> okay so i'm home from chemo and i had a, a, a little time to think and all these people and names started popping into my head and people that i know i forgot to thank um individually that i just will not be able to um help myself or sleep tonight if I don't do it that's just how I am but anyways I wanted to make sure that um, I send a big 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 shout out and a big thank you to all of my happy hair family um, when I say when I say happy hair family I mean of course all my clients but also all employees um, employees um, both past present and future um, I just thank you guys all so much, you know, Ryan, Victoria, um, of course, Nadia, I mentioned her earlier, Jonica, um, all the girls who got together to send me the flowers, um, um, Gabby, Reagan, Tiffany, Jerrica, Myrie, um, Myrie's my baby, um, I thank you guys all so much. Um, it just, it just, that just really did something, you know, something for me. Um, I love you guys. I love you guys. Like I said, happy hair, past, present, and future. So presently, you know, we have, um, uh, Miss Paisley, um, Telkini, um, August, who I, I couldn't do it without, you know, um, Elise, um, Felicia, um, Centrea, who I, I absolutely couldn't do it without. Um, Destiny, who just brightens my day all the time. Just brightens my day. Um, who else? Mia, who recently departed from us, but I just love her and I love her energy and the hugs she gave me every day was so needed. And I just love her. I appreciate her. Um, Elena, who just started working with us, but even before she started, brought me a card to the salon, the nicest card that she wrote in and said some of the nicest things. Thank you for that, Elena, and I appreciate you. Um, who else? Yasmin, Miss Yasmin, so sweet and talented. Miss Kendrika, just a, a definitely a rising star in her own right with a, a, a spirit that's so good and energy that's so good and so professional. I appreciate you, Kendrika. She works right in front of me and she's just always smiling and happy. I appreciate you. I appreciate um, the pound cake that Paisley brings me. <laughs> just the random things, you know, that just lets me know she's thinking about me. I appreciate those things. I appreciate those things. I appreciate... Just y'all coming and showing up and showing out and 
doing your best and, and caring for happy hair. That means so much to me. It really does. It means so much to me. Um, Maya, our newest um, assistant, newest employee, I appreciate you too, Maya. I appreciate you, honey. Um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for just every call and text and just thoughts and words of encouragement. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it grateful for God doing his work I'm not grateful to have cancer but I'm grateful for all the things that he's doing in my life and all the people that he's bringing in my life or you know bringing in my life again and and for the ones that he's removing from my life too I'm grateful for that I'm grateful for that too because only he knows what I need and what I can and can't handle right now so if you can't be 100 then I'm grateful that God is just removing you know I'm grateful for that too, and of course things like that hurt me because I'm a I have a big heart and I love everybody. I love real easy, but you know it is what it is. It's no hard feelings. It's just work, just God working, just working. But I love you guys all still. I don't love anybody any less at all. Um, who else was I thinking? So many people, Dexter. October, my um, barber, my son's barber, and the one that um, shaved my head. Thanks for that. Thanks, Dexter. I love you too, man. I love you too. Um, who else? Just so many people, y'all. So many people. Mm. Just everybody. My son's school. My son's school has been so good to me. And so good to my son. He goes to Florida Boulevard Baptist Church in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and just the director, the the pastor her, um, of the of the school of the church called me. I've never before attended that church in my life. He called me. He prayed with me and prayed for me. I appreciate those things. Um, my pastor, uh, Pastor um, Deidre Carter. Of I Walk By Faith Ministries in Gonzales, Louisiana. She just gives it to me. That woman. Oh my gosh. Everything she gives me is so good for my soul and so needed and just gets me through. Even when and I'm I've missed. I hadn't been there in um uh, the past few weeks because I've been dealing with a lot. It's a lot going on. Um, you know, the holidays and and then chemo and work and just a lot just a lot like the devil trying to keep me away but that does not mean that she's not in my heart and that my church is not in my heart and that I'm not reading and staying up on my bible and my spiritual messages but she called me today and she prayed for me and with me um while I was in chemo she didn't even know I was in chemo she just called me because I hadn't been there in a while that's what I'm talking about you know get yourself if you're not already get yourself in a church that when you're gone they miss you okay let that your pastor knows your name and knows what's going on in your life and what where, where the the message and the word feeds your soul and it's doing something for you get yourself in a church that when you walk out you walk out better than you came in every Sunday that I attend that church that happens anyone out there that wants to go to church wants to know more about God like I welcome it I welcome it you can go with me I, I invite you all to I walk by faith ministries in Gonzales Louisiana starts at 10 o'clock on a Sunday you be out of here at 1130 but you don't want to go like her church is so good I never wanted to end I never wanted to end but it's just that good you know um, so, so I thank you for, I thank you, Sister Carter. I thank you. I thank you to all the parishioners that are praying for me too. All my sisters and brothers in Christ. I love you guys. And I thank you guys so much. And then, um, there's another, um, spiritual, um, I don't know what you want to call it, spiritual advisor or guider, but her name is Sister Dosey. She's a, a nun here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and she's been known to pray for miracles and for miracles to happen. And so I've seen her twice. I go back to see her next week. And she's just amazing. Um, this little lady that speaks all these different languages, but she just lays her hands on me and prays for me, prays for my family. And um, 
that her energy is so good and so positive and I just love her too and I pray for her that she's able to continue to do what she's doing for so many people so I'm thankful to her thankful for, for Miss Star who referred her to me um, that was a, a real blessing but again if I miss anybody in particular I apologize I don't mean anything by it but I love you guys I love you guys all so thank you guys hey I know this is going to be a long video by the time I um, put everything together. And if you watch to the end, kudos to you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel too. I always forget to say that because I don't do this for subscribers. I do this for, um, you know, my family and my friends. But at the same time, um, if I can be of help to anyone, then please subscribe, like, which is the thumbs up thing. And, and share my channel with anyone who you think may get help from it. So um, coming up, I have my surgery next. And so I'll be able to, I'm going to make a video about um, like my pre-op stuff um, with Dr. Haley and um, the surgery process. I'm getting a double or bilateral mastectomy. One has to go. The cancerous breast has to go, but I'm choosing to do the other breast too um, because it reduces my chance of recurrence. So, um, I'm doing that and I'm also getting reconstruction with implants. So, um, I'll be documenting that whole process too. So if you guys know anybody who's going through this or, um, may have gone through this in the past that may benefit from my videos or I may ben benefit from, um, their knowledge, then please share because sharing is caring. So, um, love you guys. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Don't forget to like. <laughs> subscribe and share. Thank you. Bye-bye.